Hello everybody, it is Ben, and today uh, we have a tutorial on how to solve the 4x4 Rubik's Cube faster. So, actually I'm going to bring it forward. I thought that it would look nice, look nicer, but I guess this is better. So, what I do, what you have to know to solve this is, you need to know the beginner's method. I personally le um, learned from uh, the surges, the... Surge is B. Yep, and uh, he called the video the simplest tutorial on how to solve the 4x4 Rubik's Cube. And that definitely was the best tutorial I've seen. So, I'm going to be solving it. I'm going to be teaching you how to solve it faster. Because I checked on YouTube and I couldn't find any uh, tutorials on how to solve the Rubik's 4x4 faster, except for one. And that was on a page that was extremely hard for me to find. So now I'm uh, making one on YouTube so that this could help other people. So the first thing you want to have done is your centers. You can see my centers are done. It fills this edge. But you have to have your centers done. Next, as we are accustomed to putting uh, the edges together the normal way, like, let me just find an edge, there it is. Like this way, joining it together and moving it aside and replacing it with garbage. I don't, I would, that's also the correct way to do it. But, if you'd notice, when you're bringing it up, you're also bringing this piece up to there. So, if we can bring in the orange and green piece, it would make another pair. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring in the orange and green piece. There it is. That was quite easy. It's quite easy to do it, unless for f un un uh, other than a few other things, it's quite easy. So when you bring it up, it makes two pairs. But that's not enough. I think that we can do better. We can make one more pair. We can put the white and green there. So I'm just going to find the white and green. There it is. So, to put in the last piece, it's actually quite difficult because if we just slide it in to make it perfect, we're also changing, moving the red piece, red and white piece to the side, and we don't want that. So, so we moved it back, and now the piece is right there. We want to we want to take this piece and put it into there. So, first we check, just slide it in on the top, and see if it goes into that piece, so that goes into the spot. Put it in and check to see if they're on the same row or not. If it's if it's uh, not on the same row, like this, mine is there and the other piece is there, then you are good. If it is on the same if it is on the same row, I'll be going over that in a second. So if it is on a different row like that, it's the easiest thing to do. We bring it down. We do this algorithm. Uh, we do the algorithm considering that it is on the side. L, U, L prime, U prime. All it did was put it in, and that is it. If you have it on the other side, it would be, we'd say, if it was uh, on the other side, then it would need to be here. It would need to be here. Then, on this piece right there, then we would do R, um, R prime, U prime R U. But mine's on this side, so I'm just going to flip it over for you guys. So I'm just going to need to and let me just slide it out. So now I've put it so that it is on the same row. What you want to do if it's on the same row is you want to slide it down. First, do an L. Okay, so you do an L, F, U, F prime, U prime. And that puts it in. It is quite easy. If it's on the other side, it would need to be here on the side, on the square right there. So when you put it in, it would be on the same row. 
So you would just need to do the nearest. So we would need to do R, wait, R prime, F prime, F, R, um, R, and F prime. So that would just replace it. So now where's my there it is so just to guys show you once more just to guys uh, just to refresh your memory and just put it in if you could slow down the video and see that that would have been great but now that we've put that in after my long time of explaining we can just attach these two these two and these two without a problem but to make even more to make it even better I'm just going to position it that way to make it even better. I'm just going to hold it that way. Yeah. Good. Okay, to do that, when we're pushing pieces back in, we need to make it so that. So I'll give you an example. Now that we push these together, we are going to take these two apart. Correct. So when you put them like that, we are going to wait. First, we're going to make sure. We can put this piece in, so we need a red piece there. Good. So when we push this piece in, 